Hello, this is the new Tanda of the Week with an orchestra that used to play for the high society and a composer who was in prison. <laughs> Welcome to our channel Tango Music Tutorials. If you like this video then please click the like button and you can also subscribe to our channel of course. Thank you. This week we have the orchestra of Osvaldo Fresedo. Fresedo was born in Buenos Aires in 1897 uh, in a middle class family and his mother taught him to play the piano. Uh, at the age of 10 his family moved to a more working class area, La Paternal. And that's where he discovered tango and learned to play the bandoneon. He started performing in the cafes in the neighborhood in 1913. And Fricedo wrote his first tango, uh, El Espiante, around 1914. It was recorded by Roberto Firpo as early as 1916. Fresedo wrote his most recorded tango in 1924, El Once. El Once was recorded by Fresedo himself, of course, but also by Carlos Di Sarli, Juan de Rienzo, uh, Rodriguez, Firpo, Garcia, De Angelis, etc. etc. The list of recording goes on and on. In the early 1920s, Osvaldo Fresedo worked together with Juan Carlos Cobian who would have a big influence on his refined style. By the second half of the 20s, uh, Fresedo's orchestra was one of the most important tango orchestras. In fact, he was so successful that by 1927, Fresedo had four orchestras performing simultaneously in the bars and cabarets in Buenos Aires. The orchestra of Fresedo played in the aristocratic salons as well. And nowadays when we think of his music, we tend to think of the romantic melodic tangos, uh, especially the ones with singer uh, Roberto Rey and later with Ricardo Ruiz and Oscar Serpa. And indeed, his sung tangos from the 1930s and 40s are uh, very romantic, uh, with sugar on top sometimes. But some of his instrumental tangos are quite different. This is where the melodic orchestra emphasizes the rhythm, and these are the tangos that we feature in this tanda of the week. First of all, we start with La Clavada from 1933. La Clavada was written by Ernesto Zambonini. It's his best known tango by far. Zambonini El Rengo was quite a character, uh, a talented violinist, but with a bad temper. And at one time he cut Roberto Firpo in his face with a knife. Zambonini was in prison, where he signed away the royalties to his Tango La Clavada. But fortunately for him, uh, when he got out, he managed to settle the issue. The version of La Clavada by Fresedo is quite punchy much more than you would expect from this orchestra, especially considering that it was recorded in 1933. The second tango is Polisha, recorded in 1939, and it just goes very well back to back with La Gravada. Polisha was written by Pasquale Storti, who played the second bandoneon in the orchestra of Fresedo. The third tango in this standa was written by Osvaldo Fresedo himself, uh, Pimienta. Pimienta was recorded in March 39, and uh, there's a fun moment in this tango. The piano, played by Sebastian Lombardo, uh, makes a reference to a corrido that was very popular at the time, Aja en el Rancho Grande. That tune goes like this, see if you can find it. So, tango doesn't always have to be sad and serious. We end this standa with some more fireworks, Derecho Viejo, a fun piece to dance to and one of the tango standards. 
Breccia Viejo was already recorded in the 1920s by the sextets of Fresedo, Julio de Caro and Canaro, and later by the orchestras of Juan D'Arienzo, uh, Pugliese, and Fresedo, of course. It was written by Eduardo Arolas, who was a bandoneon player and composer of tangos like La Cachilla, El Marne, and Comile Faux. Fresedo and Arolas had been friends. Sadly, Arolas died very young, at the age of 32, in Paris. This version of Derecho Viejo was recorded in 1941. That same day, Fresedo recorded Buscandote, one of his sweetest and most romantic tangos, and the last one he recorded with singer Ricardo Ruiz. So on the original record, we have Derecho Viejo on one side and Buscandote on the flip side. The contrast is huge. So that's the tanda of this week by Osvaldo Fresedo. La Clavada, Polilla, Pimienta and Derecho Viejo. Enjoy. <laughs> 